Mike Baco is a managed sports managing editor of DailyNational.com, a multimedia news and opinion website. And I asked him how China is promoting winter sports ahead of the 2022 Beijing Games. I think it's all been a progression. You know, China has really put an emphasis on growing their Olympic culture. There was something called Project 119 uh, a few years back that really wanted to indoctrinate uh, this idea of Olympic glory for not only the summer athletes, but for the uh, winter Olympic athletes as well. A, a higher hurdle to go for the winter sports, but they've been putting infrastructure behind it. They have these sports academies where young children who are identified at an early age are able to go develop their skills so that as we point forward to that 2022 uh, Olympic Games, they will be better positioned because they have a little bit farther to go, but the infrastructure is there, the commitment is there, and most most importantly, when it comes to this Olympic idea, the money is there as well. You know, I want to ask you about the children aspect of it. You know, um, China is encouraging schools and even the resorts they do have to promote these winter sports with children, starting them at a very young age. Um, and when it comes to these type of sports in other countries, it's really about getting kids involved early, and it's part mm -hmm. of people's culture. Exactly. I mean, if you think about here in the States, if you're from Utah, you may have a proclivity to be a skier or you may have more of a proclivity to do outdoor sports because it's indoctrinated into at a very early age because it's something that you do recreationally or with your family over many generations. It's not the same way in China. So from the schooling standpoint, from the sports academy standpoint, and from a consciousness standpoint, trying to get them exposed to these sports at a younger age is really something that they're trying to do so that they could see the long-term benefits of it down the line. So that being said, uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping wants to get 300 million Chinese on skis and skates uh, by the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. Is that a realistic goal? What do you make of that ambition? I mean, it, that is an ambitious goal. That, that might be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, of a challenge to do that many people. But I think just setting the goal that high, um, if they are able to reach it, amazing opportunity for them to, uh, you know, have a whole new breed of prospective, you know, athletes and Olympic athletes. But even if they come halfway there, that's an amazing leap to expose so many people. And if they're able to do that with multiple sports, if they're able to do that with other uh, Winter Olympic sports, it might not manifest itself in 2022, but 2026, certainly by 2030. And as the Olympics continue to go on, that's when they may see the, the fruits of this, you know, laying the groundwork right now. China hasn't really been known as a skiing or ice skating destination, but overall, are winter sports becoming more popular there? They are becoming more popular, and I think because they're seeing more of an emphasis being put on it. This Olympics, China is sending its largest delegation, not only of representatives, but also of athletes. Over 80 athletes are going this year. If you look at the uh, projections for the medal total, uh, four years back, they were able to get about uh, nine or so medals, three of them gold. They're projected to be in the half dozen to seven or eight gold medals this go around. So you're seeing an incremental bump up, incremental bump up in terms of people that are participating and incremental bump up in terms of the high caliber of athletes that they're able to send and compete against these well-established nations.